what's up everybody if you've seen some of my previous videos you probably heard me talk about not using white text in your resume to have it rank higher in an ATS system so what I'm gonna do right here um, or right now is to uh, share my screen with you and show you what actually happens in an ATS system when you do that so give me just a second and I am going to share screen here we go so right here we are on JobScan, jobscan.co website and they actually have an article up and it's called six popular resume tips that you shouldn't follow and um, one of those things is the you know um, use hidden keywords to beat the applicant tracking system and so what happens here is when somebody uses white text because white is typically the background of a document that you submit your resume in but any type of color that matches your um, your your document that you're uploading to an ATS to make it look invisible. So if you have a blue back black black excuse me if you have a blue background and you are including the same color blue text in there to hide that text to make it look invisible. This is what we're talking about here when we're saying um, you know using hidden keywords or invisible text. So basically, um, Talio Talio is the ATS system that some or that someone's uploading their resume to and they've included the white text of accounting in here four times so this is actually what happens when the ATS systems um, scans and parses that resume so they use this, they use the o OCR technology that I talked about and it um, actually can go in there and by using the OCR technology find these hidden words in the system the same way that it finds those hidden words to help it rank the um, appli application or resume higher in the ATS but what it does here as you can see is it um, it changes the text to black and then it also highlights it and from the looks of it it also makes the text uh, bold but I'm not 100% sure on that so we'll just say it does these three things so it's kind of like a grammar checking system or kind of like an editing system in a sense as well so you want to make sure that you don't do this because just imagine if a recruiter or a hiring manager somebody got your resume and they, or they saw this pop up um, you know under your profile when they're looking at your your resume or your application and they see that you went in here and including accounting four times I mean clearly this doesn't make any type of sense to include accounting 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 in here and then software so they can see that you are trying to, to game the system and it might be um, looked at as something that's unethical, unfavorable, um, and that you might come into the company, you might try to you know abuse different policies or procedures or systems in the company to um, get over on the company. It could be like get more pay, get out of doing you know work. You never know what they might be thinking when they see something like this. So you just want to make sure that you don't do that. Um, that's pretty much all that I had on that video right there but again you all can go here and I'll put this link in the um, description of this video so you all can go out and check the other tips that they have that you should do or you shouldn't do when creating your ATS resume so that's it for me until next time you know what I say keep your dreams in sight check me out on career insights 501 on all major social media platforms and www.careerinsights 501.com you can find a lot of great resources and tools there as well i'm constantly uploading and adding different things on there to be beneficial to you and your educational and career journey and again together in peace together in love and i'll see you all next time